Yeah, data contracts are all about setting those expectations between producers and consumers. The important thing is that they have to be verifiable. Um, and basically, if we can't check it, it's not really part of the data contract. It's part of like a more broad data product. Uh, and we talked about this in the May Town Hall. So, well, you know, um, that's kind of the data hub stance on how these things should operate and how they should work together. Now, if we think about data contracts as a set of like checks or assertions that we want to, you know, enforce and verify, it's not enough for them to be verifiable. We also have to actually do the verification of them. Um, simply, they should be monitored or ideally they should be enforced um, so that the bad, bad data doesn't ever even get produced. So normal, normal flow here is, you know, Acryl might propose a contract or you might write that and then you'll store those in Git, sync those with Data Hub. But then there's this question of like, who, who actually does that evaluation? How, do, how does the data producer say, hey, I wrote this check that, you know, this, you know, table should land once every hour. How do I like actually check that continuously and, you know, make sure that we get an alert if it, if it goes wrong? So normally people will use things like DBT or grid expectations to kind of evaluate these tests or evaluate those assertions. And then we already have capabilities to push those results into Data Hub. But keeping, keeping the assertion evaluations in sync with the data contracts is kind of a pain. And so what if Data Hub could be that orchestrator? What if it could keep these things in sync? And then even better, what if you didn't even need to set up an assertion evaluator? What if Data Hub could just do that for you as well? And so that's what this new flow is all about. It's Data Hub will actually go to your DBT project, raise a PR that will enforce the, the contract that you actually want to enforce. And then also the Acro Observe, we can actually just enforce like natively defined assertions continuously and in real time. And so I'll give a quick demo of this first piece of what does it look like to raise a PR to DBT to enforce a data contract? Great. So over here, I have a data contract. Um, you know, it has a freshness check, a schema check, and you know we can also add data quality rules and things like that. But for now, we'll just focus on freshness and schema. I've actually already pushed these into Data Hub. And so we see the data contract here and I clicked approve. So now it's pending implementation. Great. Once, once there's like a data hub or GitHub action that will run and that will open up a PR against my DBT repo and that will add or implement this data contract in your DBT test or in, in as a DBT contract. And so specifically, the column checks will go in as dbt contracts, the so data type and the not null constraints. And then the table freshness will come in as a dbt test. And you know, it'll say it will convert like that cron expression that I had, which is every five minutes, into an actual check that we can run on the SQL warehouse to verify whether or not this stuff is actually fresh. Um and that way, you don't have to keep these things in sync. Data Hub manages the orchestration and you get to enforce data contracts without really thinking about it. Um, quick plug, it will also tell you, if you're using the impact analysis action, will also tell you what the downstream impact of these changes were. Obviously this one doesn't actually impact anything. Um, so it just says one thing changed. But you know, if I was modifying the SQL as well, we could also see the downstream impact. So really it's about meeting, meeting developers in the tools that they're already in, but also keeping everything in sync so that you don't end up with the, the whole tangled mess. All right, so that, that's all I wanted to show.